An attorney representing nearly 130 French Island residents has served pages of notices to the city of La Crosse for allegedly playing a role in water contamination. The claim states that these private wells have been tainted with chemicals known as PFAS, which have been linked to cancer and birth defects. These chemicals believed to have originated from what the city says is FAA mandated firefighting foam used at the airport that then spread downstream through the groundwater. The city is currently studying how widespread the problem is and considering long term mitigation efforts as it works to provide bottled water in the short term to those affected. The attorney says it's likely many more people on French Island have been affected by water contamination. It's so tragic that so many people have been impacted by this pollution. Uh, very frustrating and scary situation for these people. And we're just really uh, hope that the city will act as cooperatively as possible to so that we can find a resolution to these issues and get people clean water moving forward. Now the notices ask for a permanent supply of clean water and to receive compensation for loss of property value, as well as for people who have medical issues linked to drinking PFAS contaminated water. Responding to the notice, Mayor Tim Cabot said in a statement today, quote, at tonight's Common Council meeting, there is a request for approving legislation to file suit against the manufacturers of these harmful chemicals. I would strongly encourage impacted residents to join forces with our effort, and there will be more information to come on this work soon. He continues, I do not understand why Attorney Jacobson is trying to sow division and confusion between the residents of Campbell and the city of La Crosse, as we are all victims of these manufactured chemicals and have been negatively impacted.